Thank you. Thank you. The place, Riverside Park, west side of Manhattan. Aquaphor New York City Triathlon, the athletes are gathering, thinking the thoughts. As our pro men get underway, and Vic, the race is underway. Well, first we've got our pro men in the water, and next up, we have our pro ladies. This is one of our Wozner twins. The prides of New York, the twins, you're not seeing double people. And our pro women are underway, both pro men and pro women underway here at the 13th annual Aquaphor New York City Triathlon. They are blazing the trail down a beautiful racing conditions here in New York City. I'm Dave Ragsdale along with Vic Brumfield. Vic, great conditions today, calm and just what a setting. It is gorgeous today. It's going to be one heck of a race. You know, the athletes are, we have more than almost 4,000 athletes ready to take on a 1.5K swim, 40K bike, 10K run. Let's get out to the action. Let's do this thing. The elite age groupers prepare to start their Aquaphor adventure here in Manhattan into the two plus knot conditions in the Hudson River, a very aiding current. As we can see by this shot here, they are just moving along. Doesn't take a lot of effort to go downstream, does it? No, it sure doesn't. These waters are just ripping south, pulling the athletes along. We're going to have some world record-breaking times here this morning. You know, not only is this race fast, but thanks to Aquaphor, it's also pretty smooth. A lot of the athletes use it uh, for running, also for swimming, and also for biking. So it's uh, something that helps them uh, get through this grueling day. But for families, it's also great for the small little irritations of skin. Uh, it's great for diaper rash. It's even great for dry skin during the winter season, helping the chafing from dry skin. So we help uh, athletes and we help families alike. A little swim, a little bike, a little run with the more than thousands of athletes. Every single thought is running through the minds of these athletes. And they're all out here for different reasons. A lot of these people, Dave, are racing for personal goals, dreams. Others are racing for a charity or to support a corporate team. Bloomberg is into its employees and their employees' health, and so they're a big proponent of us taking advantage of events like the New York City Triathlon. So like any big project, you've, there could be months of preparation, just like the triathlon. You start maybe with baby steps, you gear up to the big presentation at the end, like big race day. So it's very similar to the work environment. The staging area along the promenade here at the Hudson is a wonderful opportunity for not only spectators to view the action as we see the swimmers going very quickly downstream, but athletes whose days are about to start also get a good idea of what lays ahead for them as well. Yeah, there aren't a lot of races where you can actually walk or run alongside your fellow swimmers. And you can imagine with an event that has so many people, there is a lot of logistical circumstances. This race isn't just about swimming, biking, and running. It's about getting to the right place at the right time along with, uh, you know, a few of your friends as well. One of our friends out here this morning is Olympic gold medalist Jenny Finch. Today could be a home run for her. I'm absolutely excited to be one of these athletes competing in the Aquaphor New York City Triathlon. It's my first try, and I am just honored to be here and excited for the race, which I'm sure all of these other athletes are feeling those exact same butterflies and nerves and all of the excitement all at once. Coming across the finish line, I hope, is going to feel like that last pitch feels uh, in a game when you've won. It's over. There's nothing better than accomplishing something great. And so much hard work and preparation has gone into this race for so many athletes. And so um, it's finally here. It's come to this. And I can't wait to cross that finish line myself with all these other incredible athletes. Right down the block. Over the years, the New York City Triathlon has generated millions of dollars for charities, a, a good cause for a lot of these athletes. You think about the kids, what they go through every day is a thousand times worse than what we go through in these couple hours. So we're thinking about them, we're praying for them, and we're feeling their good vibes with us today. I want to wish Tina good luck as we do to all the athletes participating on behalf of their favorite charity. Lots of good work here and uh, having a great time as well.
there she goes. Today's race for our amateurs is a time trial start, which means we've got 15 athletes starting every 20 seconds, and they all start with their fellow age group competitors. So these ladies are all starting in the same age group, so they've got the same swim cap color. Here's an age group of gentlemen who also have matching cap colors. And into the Hudson they go, their race is underway. The Aquaphor New York City Triathlon is brought to you by Aquaphor. It soothes, it protects, it helps heal. You might say, it works wonders. By Dwayne Reed, your city, your drugstore. And by Bloomberg Business Week. We'll be back with more from the Aquaphor New York City Triathlon after this. Welcome back to the Aquaphor New York City Triathlon as we see our athletes making their way up the promenade, one step closer to the start barge. Is this, in a city as diverse as New York City, it's, it's not unusual that the athletes that come out show that equal amount of diversity, young and old, come from all backgrounds. Well, and like you said, Dave, it is New York, so we actually have quite a few people with a finance background competing in today's race. And the Janus Peak Performance Challenge has found a way for these athletes to parallel their experience at the race with their everyday job. In business, just like anything else, you have to execute, you have to train, you have to be prepared, planning is important, and, uh, and then you have to get out, you have to execute on, on the day of the race. So it's very similar, you know, the business world, the sports world, I think are very similar. Janus encourages to help us with training programs, helps us to meet our goals, our goals in business, and our personal lives. Personally, about 50 about meters 10. away. We quickly shift to the swim finish as we await the first of our pro men out of the water. This swim is going to be, of course, current aided and probably be somewhere in that 12 to 13 minute range as they approach the exit right down at 79th Street there. You can see how they eye the progress. And here comes our man. That is athlete number two, Kyle Lido, out of Walnut Creek, California, up the ramp and down towards transition right behind him, representing the New York Athletic Club, Aussie Sam Douglas. And there's our defending champion, appropriately wearing the number one, Jordan Jones, Golden, Colorado, and the rest of the men's field all rather pretty closely packed together. And, you know, again, in triathlon, the clock's running the whole time. So this transition, they're, they've got a bit of a rundown to their transition area. They do, and they have to remember that this race can't be won in the swim. So just because they came out of the water first doesn't mean they have this race locked down. The opening swim leg's not the only thing brief at the New York City Triathlon. That's right. We kicked off race weekend with the Fresh Pair underwear run in Central Park. Freshfur.com is the world's leading retailer of men's and women's uh, underwear. So it's everything you can find in a department store and thousands of things that you own. Plus, we've got uh, experts on staff who will help you find the perfect pair, whether it's fit or style, that'll make you feel your best and will deliver it right to your door. So we like to say your confidence is showing. Well, confidence wasn't the only thing showing that night. What a fun way to get underway with a, what's otherwise for a lot of these athletes a very competitive weekend. Great crowd shows up in Central Park. I mean, this is, some might get confused with just a normal day in Central Park, given some of the costumes you see uh, in and around the park area. Hey, it's New York. Whatever goes. No matter how you get there, run, walk, or hop, a good time was had by all. Back on race day at the swim start. Another one of our age groups lining up, getting ready to hop in, get their day started. Trip back to the swim finish. Our pro women approach the final steps. It's two Wozners, Rebecca Laurel and Jenna Parker. And boy, the girls have outdone the guys today by about 25 seconds, under 12 minutes for their swim. 
Well, and that's a great swim for Rebecca. She's just coming off maternity leave having a baby five months ago. Doesn't seem to have had too much of an effect so far, except a positive one. Good for her. There's a really long run from swim exit down to transition. It's close to 700 yards. It's barefoot. And this is a place where you can really make up some time. Yeah, that clock does not stop. When the horn goes off, it doesn't stop till you cross that finish line in Central Park. And with a six, 700 meter run, it, you're right, it really does account for a lot. Uh, many a race has been won and lost in transition. That applies to not only the very fastest, but even the uh, you know sort of middle of pack uh, age grouper. They can make up for a lot of time. Now that our pros have cleared the water, the water is all about our age group competition as they make their way south. Many of our athletes, this is uh, this is the trickiest part for them. This is the area where they feel the least amount of confidence, but with all the safety personnel and lifeguards and all the different assets on the water, it helps to give them a greater comfort level. Following a quick transition, our athletes have to make their way out of Riverside Park up onto the West Side Highway. Again, this is sort of a little circuitous area. They have to be very careful to get themselves safely up onto the roadway. All of these athletes following our lead Jeep vehicle. Go anywhere, do anything. Our swim leader, Kyle Lito, making his way up. Uh, the advantage that our pro field has that our age groupers don't is that they've got clear sailing all the way up almost. They've got the whole roadway almost to themselves. Once they're up on the highway, it is free sailing as they make their way north all the way up to the boogie down Bronx. Currently in that first spot, a guy very familiar already, already with a win from last year, Jordan Jones. His bike leg is always a place where he separates himself from his competition. Meanwhile, back at the home front, age group swimmers are still coming out of the water. And the importance of transition time, it looks like Laurel Wasner, who came out at the same time as her sister Rebecca, now has a lead thanks to a fast transition time. One place where we encourage athletes to take their time is at the Duane Reed Sports and Fitness Expo. This is a great place where friends and family can all come together with their athletes and learn about everything that's new in the triathlon and endurance industry. At the Dwayne Reed booth, they were giving away some great samples. They had some fun giveaways. It was just a nice gathering. Of course, who would leave an expo without getting some of the great logo apparel associated with the event? In this case, some great Aquaphor New York City Triathlon gear. All of this great gear provided by Team Retail Solutions by Campus Customs. Family members and friends stop by the Janice Inspiration Station. And all you New Yorkers, don't forget to stop by your local Dwayne Reed after the triathlon. As we come back to the race, we're seeing some of our pro women out here. This happens to be Julie Patterson, racing out of Richmond, Virginia. Got a nice cadence. Looking ahead, trying to catch one more athlete. Well, and she's looking right at our first place winner from last year, Amy Bevilacqua. Amy, a mom of four, and uh, again, is a defending champ, has a little bit of knowledge about the race that can come in handy. Now, it, it always helps to come back to a race that you've been a part of, especially when you've been the winner. Do you think those compression socks help? They aren't helping me right now. Amy's riding right up along the George Washington Bridge along the west side of Manhattan right now, just a few miles away from the Henry Hudson Bridge that'll turn her into the Bronx. With all the great scenes along the way, it's a shame that the athletes are paying so much attention to their race and not doing a little bit of uh, sightseeing as they uh, make their tour of Manhattan. Or maybe just working on their tan lines. Nicole Truxis racing out of Chandler, Arizona. These are all part of our lead group of about five women making their way north. You'd think in a big city like New York that everything was nice and flat if you've been in Manhattan, but this bike course couldn't be further from the truth. 
And as Jenna passes that reduced speed sign, she's actually got to pick up her pace if she's going to pass Rebecca Wozner here on this steep climb. Jenna Parker makes her way through the toll. She's got that easy pass uh, hooked on to her uh, tri bars in front, so no need to stop as she rolls right through and out of Manhattan and into the Bronx. Speaking of the Bronx, the pro men are already at the turnaround point, and he's really solidifying his lead here on the bike course as he turns around at Gun Hill Road on the Moshalu Parkway. Now his sight set on that Jeep lead vehicle headed back down into Manhattan. One of the few moments they're able to see their uh, competitors, Kyle Leto, our swim leader, just uh, making that turn, trying to make a race of it. As we look downstream, athletes don't have a chance to appreciate the large cruise ships along the Hudson River piers. The Aquaphor New York City Triathlon is brought to you in part by Cliff Bar. Nutrition for sustained energy. Get ready to meet the moment. By Janice, the official asset manager of the Aquaphor New York City Triathlon. Here, a challenging landscape just means you need someone up to the challenge. By Xterra Wetsuits, the fastest, most buoyant wetsuits on the planet. We'll be back with more. After this. Welcome back to the Aquaphor New York City Triathlon along Riverside Park. Our age group athletes, one event down. Now they're onto the bike as they make their way out of the park up onto the West Side Highway. And speaking of the West Side Highway, our bike leader Jordan Jones just sprinting his way by. Jordan is always, he's got a great combination of swim, bike, and run, but the bike is where he really separates himself. That's how he raced last year and won, and I'm sure he's got the same strategy this year. Well, and he's looking so confident and comfortable. Really great position on the bike right now. Now looking a little less comfortable, really grinding up this hill is Kyle Lido seeing if he can get Jordan back in his sight. Meanwhile, in the women's race, they're side by side. Now, of course, the rules of triathlon require that you keep a certain distance from the athletes you're racing with as Jenna Parker takes that spot in front and uh, Rebecca Wastner drops back a bit. But they play a little bit of a cat and mouse game. These athletes know exactly where the limits are and they're always trying to push them just a bit. Meanwhile, down at the swim start, we have athletes who race on their own. We have others who are uh, who have a little bit of assistance. A lot of our guided athletes in our para triathlete group. This is the host site of the Accenture Challenge Athletes Foundation National Championship, and we've got a great group of athletes who are here. This type of work is extremely important to Accenture. We have a a, a corporate citizenship program called. Skills to succeed, and this fits right in because this, through the Handler program, we're really able to support these athletes as they develop critically important life skills such as comp competing, such as confidence, such as healthy lifestyle. So it's absolutely a sweet spot for Accenture and hopefully very, very helpful for the athletes. Two athletes ready to take on the challenge Leona Emerson and Carolyn Gaynor. It's an added bonus to be able to inspire people just by being out on the course. I hope to inspire more women to step up and be guides for visually impaired athletes. And, and obviously, hopefully, you know, we're inspiring more visually impaired athletes and para-athletes to come out and try the sport. Leona, what do you think? Yeah, for me, it's all about, you know, ultimately I'm here because I love it and I want to do it. And if doing what I love helps other people to get out and be active and take on new challenges and enjoy life, then that's a great side effect. Today's race included nearly 40 athletes competing in the Accenture Challenged Athletes Championships. They come in with a variety of classifications, and uh, some of them, some of them are very uh, eye straightforward. Others just happy to be there and part of it all as they get underway with their 1.5k swim. As you can see, they 
They have a lot of different equipment. You think the athletes in the age group category deal with a lot of equipment issues. These uh, challenged athletes and paratriathletes, uh, they need friends to uh, lend them a hand or in some cases a, a leg. Two thumbs up. Back on the bike course, Jordan Jones making his way back to transition. It looks like he's in Manhattan headed south. Once again, really solidifying his lead and back to cat and mouse with the women's course. This is the race of the day right now. Jordan just looking to ride away. Meanwhile, at the front of the women's race, you're right. Jenna Parker's got that aero helmet working as hard as possible. She raced last year and wasn't quite as pleased with the result as, as she hopes to be for this year. So in her mind is, I want to be one. I want to be one and hoping to get off that bike in, in good order. Rebecca's just targeting Jenna's every move, but not getting too close to avoid a drafting penalty. Now, if you want a perfect fit, you need a custom Guru bike. They don't get any lighter, any faster, and any more custom. In the sport of cycling, technique is very important. A lot of athletes think that technique only applies to things like swimming. You hear a lot of people talk about their technique in the pool. Um, athletes think that technique only applies to running. There's not a lot of general discussions about technique in terms of cycling, and that's where a lot of people can usually make up the most time. You know, we talk about, um, think about power transfer to the pedals. If you don't know how to turn your legs over at the right cadence, at the right time, when you're descending, when you're climbing, you're not going to go as fast as the guy next to you who does know how to do those things. Traction is the Drew to Guru is the fact that I can get a frame made for my, my body geometry after getting a bicycle fit. This frame is the result of that whole process. Totally custom frame. Nobody else has one with these specifications in the world. Totally custom paint. My company's on there. My bike fitters company is on there. They'll do anything that I want. Guru is really the pinnacle of innovation and craftsmanship. And Dave, I could get it in hot pink. Back to the race, Jordan Jones with a beautiful scene of the Palisades above the Hudson River. What a scene. Hey, Jordan, look to your right. Isn't that pretty? He's not looking. He's got one thing in mind, T2, the bike to run transition. One of the things that Jordan's thinking about is the fact that at the turnaround at the Moshaloo, he saw Kyle Leto, and now he's trying to put all that time in. Back in transition, and again, down in Riverside Park, the athletes, the age group athletes have taken over the triathlon. Out of the water, into transition. Very important to know where your bike is. Hey, that's Lucy Danziger. She's the editor-in-chief of Self Magazine. Talk about a gal who knows what women want. Looking good, Lucy. <laughs> Feels great out here. Great day, great day. It's probably one of the most expensive parking lots on the west side of Manhattan today. A lot of skills required in triathlon, not just swimming and biking and running. you got to figure out how to get that wetsuit off. And I always have to remind myself not to head out on the run with my helmet still on. Safety first, Vic. Safety first. <laughs> you got it. Go, Lucy. Fun, fun. New Yorkers practicing this tight technical turn for the weeks leading up to the race. The Aquaphor New York City Triathlon is brought to you by Guru Cycles, the official bike of the New York City Triathlon. By Manhattan Orthopedic, providing orthopedic care to the greater New York City area. Manhattan Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Group. We'll be right back with more Aquaphor New York City Triathlon action after this. Welcome back to the Aquaphor New York City Triathlon. The stream of age groupers make their way up out of transition and on to the West Side Highway. The types of bikes they ride varies as much as they do themselves. Watching Kyle Leto, just wondering, where. hey, can you tell me where Jordan Jones is? I'm trying to chase this guy with a number one. Have you seen him? Not lately, I'm guessing. 
Well, at the turnaround point, they were only like 15 seconds apart, and now, Dave, he's got a minute and a half lead. Both athletes have raced here. Of course, Jordan most recently winning last year, but Kyle, he had a top three finish a couple of years ago, so I'm sure he's familiar with the course, but again, Jordan's his, his bike strength is what he relies on to make his race. Well, here's Jenna, so we know right behind her, it's probably Rebecca Wozner. There she is. They have been in each other's sight all day. The question is, will this cat and mouse continue once they hit the run course, Dave? From one run course to one of a different sort, the perhaps slowest two minutes in sports. The Aquaphor Diaper Derby Dash. Look at them. Look at them dash. Boy. Sign them up. <laughs> You know, if you stand up, you're disqualified. Then again, you gotta at least crawl. Everybody gets a trophy. That's the good news. And of course, bragging rights for the proud parents. And these athletes, you know, they know what it takes. Here's one athlete consoling the other over a, maybe a, a performance not quite up to their standard. The devices and uh, means by which mom and dad lure their children across the, uh, the performance area. Look at that. We actually have quadruplet babies in this competition. So the sibling rivalry starts early. Speaking of rivalries. Back out to the course, number one in your scorecard, number one in the course right now, Jordan Jones in his final miles of the bike and uh, preparing, starting to transition his own mind for run. He's turning around at the southern 56th Street turnaround point, headed north. He is one mile out from transition. Now this is all on the west side, but in Central Park, this race has gone to the dogs. The Animal Medical Center Doggy Dash athletes warming up. We've got 30 dog partner teams. Everybody's going to do a five mile run today, but don't worry. There's a mandatory five minute vet check at the northern part of Central Park. A little pre-race uh, routine there among two competitors. Warming up. Everybody else's water always seems to taste better. Great opportunity for a man or woman in this case and their best friend to uh, get out and enjoy a little jaunt around Central Park. Not uncommon in New York, but uh, rarely with numbers on and leashed, so they have a great time in this event. Speaking of a great time, Jordan Jones has got nearly a two minute lead now on Kyle Lieto. He's headed back up the west side. You can see those Trump Towers on the right as he heads back down into the 79th Street transition area. A lot of great volunteers out there assisting our athletes in and out of transition. Here we are out in the park, Animal Medical Center, Doggy Dash. Who's having more fun? I say four legs. Well, that dog's pulling her like a sled. Is that fair? You're holding me back. Come on, pick it up in the back. Here's Jordan Jones out of Riverside Park, heads into West 72nd as he runs across Manhattan. Next stop, Central Park. Also coming up on that 79th Street exit, back into transition, still in the lead, we've got Jenna. Yeah, Jenna Parker looking to improve on that performance. She was in first spot off the bike last year, but then got caught on the run. So I'm sure she's thinking through her mind, what am I gonna do different? What am I gonna do different? Jordan Jones, a man running, look, running across Manhattan. He's thinking, I've done this before. I can do it again. This dog's face is a dead giveaway. It is hot in the park this morning. 
Temperatures approaching 90 degrees at this point. Lots of humidity, so it's important for athletes, four legs or two, to make sure they keep the hydration. Jenna Parker in a familiar spot, out of the lead of the race and not far behind, Rebecca Wasner. Rebecca getting some added inspiration yesterday at the Aquaphor Diaper Derby where her five-month-old Amy sat at the start line. I don't think she made it beyond the start line. She was there. Showing up's half the battle, Vic. Okay, okay. Although Jordan's the first to cross 72nd, imagine the scene hours later as athletes will be coming along this area. The crowds is it's almost sort of a, a vertical mountain stage in the Tour de France. And again, the tongue is out, the legs are moving quick, and the dog's saying, come on, buddy, let's go. Ha, ha, ha. Doesn't get any better than that. The winner of the Most Strides Taken Award at the Animal Medical Center, Doggy Dash. Nothing like a New York hot dog. Now, these look more like dirty water dogs. This is Tess. Tess was the first dog into the mandatory five-minute stop animal medical center veterinary check. As soon as his time's up, he'll be back on the road. Back on the road with Jenna Parker. When she hits Central Park, she will have the toughest five miles of today's run up and down the hills of Central Park with the finish line her primary focus. Meanwhile, Jordan Jones planning his acceptance speech for first place, perhaps, Vic? I don't know. I wouldn't get too confident too soon. It is hot, it's hilly, and he's got 4,000 athletes behind him hot on his heels. The Aquaphor New York City Triathlon is brought to you in part by the Animal Medical Center. Advanced treatment, research, education, devotion since 1910. And by Fresh Pair, a confident fit starts with perfect underwear. We'll be back with more after this. Welcome back to the Aquaphor New York City Triathlon. Exiting Riverside Park, the statue of Eleanor Roosevelt, the stream of athletes building. And out of the park, across 72nd, from one park to another. And our fearless female leader, Jenna Parker, running through the Cliff Shot Gel Station. I don't know if she needs an extra shot. She is on fire. And behind her, Rebecca Wasner, a three-time winner. Looks like that hard bike ride has taken a little bit out of her, but she is a strong competitor, and she will give it her very best. Giving it her best right there, running by everybody. Our age group athletes, they are awesome. They just try so hard. They're having such a good time. Just eyes forward, part of the Terrier Tri team out of Manhattan. And here's Amy Bevilacqua. She was our winner last year. Looks like she is passing Rebecca. Yep. Amy is a great biker, and she just sets herself up for, for a good run. Look at that. A little commentary between athletes. She's probably saying, how far is she in front of us? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen her since the bike. Back up to Jordan Jones coming up on West 89th Street on Manhattan's Upper West Side. The west side of Manhattan is also home to the Reebok Sports Club. For celebrities and athletes alike, the Reebok Sports Club is the official training center of the Aqua 4 New York City Triathlon. Technique is incredibly important in the sport of running. It helps you conserve energy, which you can use towards power and speed, and it also helps prevent injury. I've been working with Lisa and Josh. Lisa used to slouch forward a lot when she was running and we've worked on being more mindful of our posture and that's greatly improved her running form and pace. Josh used to be a heavy foot striker and his feet would spend a lot of time on the ground, which would hold him back from meeting his potential in running pace. So now he has a quicker cadence and a lighter foot strike. The philosophy at Reebok is to bring our members five-star service and having this running track is definitely a way to 
achieve your running goals, whether it be recreational running in Central Park or completing the New York City Triathlon. I usually achieve my tanning goals on their exclusive sun deck. But enough about me. Oh, I'm tired today. You're not tired. <laughs> you got a lot of tanning. You can hear Amy mention she's tired. Well, you oh. would be too if your bike split was almost a minute and a half faster than any of your fellow athletes. So that bike split, again, she's probably paying for it a bit on the run. Looking fresh up front though, Jenna Parker is still holding a solid lead. Coming up at about West 100th Street right now. Crowds are building out there, both on the course and on the sidelines. The Aquaphor New York City Triathlon is brought to you in part by Luban Quotidien. Welcome to our bakery and communal table. By Muscle Milk, the official recovery drink of the Aquaphor New York City Triathlon. The Aquaphor New York City Triathlon will be back after this. Welcome back to the Aquaphor New York City Triathlon. Age groupers all across Manhattan, 72nd Street, from Riverside Park to Central Park. Jenna Parker making her way around. Looking good, probably getting reports on her progress right now. Amy doing the best she can to hold the distance. Oof, the loneliness of a long distance runner. Meanwhile, it's so hard for these athletes to know that the race has already been won and they're still in the transition area. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the 2013 Aquaport New York City Triathlon, Jenna Parker, yes. Harvard's own Jenna Parker, repeating with her brother, brother did in 2006. A well-deserved victory for Jenna, redemption from last year's performance, and as you can see, she timed it perfectly. You hit that finish line, you're done. I gave it everything I got. And these gals are giving it everything they've got to climb up out of transition onto 72nd Street in Manhattan's west side through this tunnel. They're going to be happy to see the light on the other side. Tess looking strong, just literally dragging her owner through the final miles of the Animal Medical Center doggy dash. Look at that. Back at the finish line, new mom. Rebecca Wassner grabs her daughter Amy for a, a shot we'll see repeated several times as the age groupers will come through with family members and friends. An exciting moment for them. Poor Amy thinking, what are you doing here? Why, why am I doing this? Don't I get a choice in this? Seventy Second Street getting crowded. Love the fans in New York. In front of the historic Dakota, athletes run into Central Park at Seventy Second Street, right next to Strawberry Fields. A little bit of high fiving with his favorite dog. This is the winner of our doggy dash test. Look, you know the. There we go. All of our age groupers starting to cross the finish line now, and everybody looks like they are feeling great. 
But for those who aren't feeling so great, luckily we've got Dr. Mark Cleon from Manhattan Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Group. I see there's often, you know, a few repeat offenders, as we might call them, that have seen us last year or the year before that, that come back to us and say, hey, you know, I'm not getting to the medical tent this year. You helped me out a lot last year. I learned some lessons, and now I'm healthy, and I'm racing, and I'm happy. We have an unbelievable group that it's assembled today. We probably have about 80 to 100 medical professionals here to take care of approximately 3,000 racers. There are MDs, physical therapists, chiropractors, podiatrists, nurses, podiatry students, you know, and just volunteers that are here to take care of, you know, all the athletes and every particular need that they could have. About to break the tape in the Accenture Challenged Athletes Championship, visually impaired athlete Aaron Scheide's on the left. Aaron's the, one of the fastest paratriathletes in the world. The toughest thing for Aaron is to find an, a guide quick enough to keep up with him. Speaking of a quick pair, we're back to Carolyn and Leona on the run course making their move. That is so impressive. It is, and they really inspire other athletes as they pass them or talk to them. They make their way north on these west side rollers hitting the Fox Business Network Power to Prosper Mile 2. By the time they hit the finish line, it's all smiles. Family members and friends, that final moment of recognition. Meanwhile, three down. You got three and change to go. You're almost there. It takes lots of encouragement. The original charity training program, that's the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's team in training. Mile four, two down, and a good attitude will get you to the finish line pretty quick. This Achilles team is hitting mile five. They've just got one to go, and the good news is it's all downhill. And the results are in. Winners of the Janus Peak Performance Challenge on the guy's side, Ken Rideout. And on the women's side, Jessica Panahare with J.P. Morgan. Congratulations. And congratulations to Bloomberg Business Week Ivy Tri Championship winner, Columbia. The Aquaphor New York City Triathlon is brought to you in part by Team Retail Solutions by Campus Customs, your one-stop solution for all your retail needs. Visit us at www.teamretailsolutions.com. Welcome back to the Aquaphor New York City Triathlon. After all the hard work is done, the athletes get a chance to enjoy the activities inside the JetBlue Finish Line Festival. JetBlue, the official airline of today's race. Meanwhile, back at the finish line, each athlete reveling in their glory as they have made it through today's triathlon. The 13th annual Aquaphor New York City Triathlon. We're at the finish line in Central Park. 13 turned out to be a pretty lucky number. It sure did. This 13th year was perfect. The swim was smooth and fast. The bike was hot but clear. And the run, little steamy, but we know we like it hot in New York. Yeah, and by the faces we see on the finishers behind us, we've got young and old, thin and not so thin. It really attracts a wide group of athletes, doesn't it? And I think that's why you see so many people out cheering. It's inspirational because it really proves that anybody can accomplish what they set their mind to. The finish line is your future. The Aquaphor New York City Triathlon has been brought to you by Aquaphor. It soothes, it protects, it helps heal. You might say, it works wonders. <laughs> 